All right, this short video, I'm going to talk about organizing our projects. So here we have the main app.js file from the last example. We have our config that includes all of our routing. We have two controllers. Each one has a different template, as we can see up here with the routing, the details as a details controller, and then our main page has a main controller. What we want to do is split this code up so that when these files get much, much larger, as there's more and more business logic put into each of the controllers, we want to be able to isolate problems. We want to be able to find the bit of code that we want to work on much easier. So in my JS folder, what I've done is I've created a folder called controllers, inside of which I've created a couple of controller files. Right now, these files, they're just empty. There's nothing inside them. At the same level as app.js, I created a routes.js file. Now, I could put this in a folder as well, but there's only going to be one of these files, so why bother with the folder? But details and main controller, they're inside of a folder. As I get more views, there will be more controllers. Uh, as for the names, we could call it details-controller, details-controller, or just details.js. Same thing with main. Whatever naming convention you feel comfortable with, just stick with that naming convention. All right, back to the app.js. First of all, I'm going to start off with our routes. Okay, this is going to be our route. I'm going to copy this, go into routes.js, paste it, and here, again, we haven't done that var app equals angular.module because doing that, I run the risk of overwriting what the app variable was. These are all files that are being loaded right at the root level of the HTML file. So starting with the same thing, I don't have to bring in this again. This is being brought in inside the app file. So angular module, booyah, there's my routing. I save that. That's it. I'm done. My routing is now in its own file. Back in the HTML file, I have to make sure for each of these files that I'm creating, I also add them as a script. So the script has to point to load all of these individual files. So the two controllers are inside of a controllers folder. Routes is at the same level as the app.js. Back in here, I can now remove this. My routing is being done inside of routes.js. For the main controller, copy that. Go into here, paste. Again, I can get rid of ng-route because that was done at the main level. There's my controller, semicolon at the end, save, done. Back into app.js. This is now gone. It's moved into its own file. And then this part, copy it into details, paste. Get rid of the ng-route. It's already got a semicolon at the end. Save it. Done. App.js. I no longer need this controller. It's in its own file. There we go. Done. There's my entire App.js file. Angular module name referenced on the HTML file. And this is dependency. There's my App.js. Here's the Angular route the dependency that we were loading. My routes is in its own file, as are my controllers. This name references the controller over here. Done. All right, let's go and check out our page again. And there it is. Refresh, make sure it's the same page. Number one, number three, number five, number two. So whole page is working with our code just broken up into smaller parts that make it much easier to find and fix problems. And that's it.